Now I'm going to go to our very last example, and I won't be able to complete the example, but I just want to show you something quickly. I have this sketch here, right? I want you just to look at example number two for me. This is a little bit of a difficult one because they did not give you sizes. They just say in the diagram, B, C, D are three points in the same horizontal plane. All of you now know what same horizontal plane means. Flat surface, flat surface. And then it says A, B is a vertical pole. Vertical means it must be 90. That is P meters high. Everybody now knows what angle of elevation is. Angle of elevation is theta. And this angle here is 30 degrees. And BD is 8 meters. I want to do this with you this afternoon. Express CDB. I made a little curve here. CDB in terms of theta. You know what I'm going to write? I'm going to say that C, D, B is equal to, in this triangle we know it's 180 minus 30 minus theta. Do you agree with me that that is how we're going to do C, D, B? Because angles in a triangle is equal to 180. If I work this out, 180 minus 30 is 150 degrees minus theta. You can either leave it as 180 minus 30 minus 50, or you can subtract those two and you get 150 minus theta. That is CBD. That was your first question there. 6.1, express CDB in terms of theta. Grade 12, it's 150 minus theta. Again, another question. Express BC in terms of P and a trigonometric ratio of theta. I have to express BC. Now look for me quickly. BC is in that top triangle there. They, I'm not going to use this here. Why am I not using the bottom triangle for my second question? Because they said express BC in terms of P. Is P in this triangle? No. So I'm going to work in the big one here. Can you see? BC. So I am going to say BC. This angle that I have there is 90 degrees minus theta. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. Or if you want to fill it in, that's 90 minus theta. Why is it 90 minus theta? Because this is 90, that is theta. And that angle is going to be 90 minus theta because you said 180 minus 90 minus theta gives me this 90 minus theta. So I'm going to express BC. What am I going to say? I am going to say... B, C, or you could start with P because P is opposite to theta, or you could use B, C. It is your decision. If I say P divided by, P divided by the sin of theta equal to, we're using the cos rule quickly, B, C divided by the sin of 90 degrees minus theta. Just do the cause rule. I know lots of you want to go into 10. Many of us don't feel so comfortable with it. That is why I'm quickly just doing it this way. BC, 90 minus theta is opposite BC. So 90 minus theta. P over the sin of theta. Now look, I want to show you. We did this on one of the broadcasts already. If you see the sin of 90 minus theta, what is it equal to? 90 minus theta always goes to cos theta. I just want BC, so I'm going to cross multiply. BC sin theta is equal to P cos theta. Can I get BC alone? Of course, BC is P cos theta divided by the sin of theta. Grade 12, just before I end, uh, do you remember I taught you if you have sin theta over cos theta, it is tan. But if cos is on top and sin is at the bottom, you put your tan 
at the bottom of your line. BC is P over tan theta. If the sin was on top and the cos was at the bottom, the tan would be on top. But you've got cos over sin, so it's P, put your tan at the bottom of the line. That number two that I just did will help you tremendously to do 6.3. I'm going to leave 6.3 as a challenge for you. Just quickly, do you understand? If I have sin over cos, it is tan. But if you have the cos over the sin, always put the tan at the bottom of the line. And now that 6.3 is your challenge to finish that sum. That would be fantastic. Just a hint, a hint. I did this last night and I thought, how can I explain this? Find BC. Find BC. And you substitute BC into this last one. I want you to go find BC. And you're going to substitute it in the value here. And then you work out what P is. There we go. That was our lesson for this afternoon. Sin, cos, area rule. Cos rule, two sides, included angle or three sides. Grade 12, I have enjoyed teaching you. It has been fantastic. We almost at our June exams. And this question is the last question in your trig section. Go work on the sin, the area and the cos rule. Always think, when can I use my cos rule? If I can't use the cos rule, it is the sin rule. Grade 12, I want to wish you the best of luck for your June exam. Some of your results for grade 11 wasn't good enough to apply for the university, and you all are counting on these marks. The best of luck. I'll be praying for all of you, all the students that are listening. You have been fantastic. And Ido, you say, Lilo, you say, sharp, thanks. Somebody says, thank you, miss. I've enjoyed the lesson a lot. Kirsty from Modedam, I have enjoyed teaching you. And Gavin from Sarepta High School, thank you so much. Good luck for your exams. Go study, go study, go study. Sit with your problems. Sit with your calculators. And if you can't get an answer, never, never give up. You struggle until you get that answer. No banks, blank spaces in your exams. Remember, don't ever leave a blank space. You try your best. Learners, good afternoon. It was great teaching you. Good luck with your June exam. Till next time when I'm going to do all the graphs with you. Thank you so much for tuning in.